morning you guys welcome to the video it is monday and it's 4 54 and we're going to the gym first take for some pre-workout today i'm going to be taking ghost or ghost legends all out just bought this thing and you have to see this scoop on it because it's absolutely it's huge man so this is the regular scoop and this is the scoop that is in this one this is a double of the rings but already got it in here so last thing we gotta do coming through this side door because the garage makes too much noise i don't know if you guys can see the car but it's dark as side gotta we warm up the car look at this oh my gosh <laughs> Coming in the morning, I just wake up early in the morning because I got one or two moves, either I'm really tired, which is an obvious one, if I don't get enough sleep, and second one being, I literally don't care what anyone says to me because I'm just so tired and like, it takes my mind across, it's like it's a process what's going on, and I feel like no emotions, and it's just, even at work, if I don't get enough sleep, I'm just in this focus grind where, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Alright, boys and girls, see the cameras, booty right now, but we just got done with the gym, and overall good session, I will have to say, uh, we pushed ourselves again, yet another day. Good morning, princess. Did you sleep good? I swear, Toby's the most high maintenance dog. Watch. <laughs> the kitty man. Metete. Y no andas de metiche. Oh, damn, Toby. Real quick, before we jump any further into the video, and my storage gets full. So this is my gym fit that I wore today. I got the black Virtus beanie right here. Black Virtus tee, or cut off tee, and the black champion joggers with it. The dirty vans. Real quick, I wanna shout, give a big shout out to uh, everyone who's been supporting me on the reels. I've been posting for the past three months now and we just hit 8K yesterday and we're on the road to 10K. And I got a big announcement for you guys later this week uh, for our 10K uh, arrival. I don't know what to call it, but thank you again for everyone who showed your support and really appreciate it. I appreciate you all. And uh, we're gonna get continue with this video because we got a YouTube channel to grow as well. It is 12:20, and we are making our first reel for today here in the little studio that we have. If you guys don't know, I make all my videos down here in the basement. I have my lights out here. The first one over there. The other one is upstairs. Before we do anything, we have to get the sound onto the computer. That way, I can know what clips to add and what I'm working with. And if you guys don't know, I make all my videos on my iPhone. I don't use any special camera gear or anything like that. But I do make all my videos or edit all my videos on my computer. If you guys are wondering, I use Premiere Pro. Uh, I usually use it for YouTube, but I find it a lot easier to edit on my computer and a lot more frustrating to edit on my phone. <laughs> Two hours later. Maya, Kani, say hi vlog. Welcome to the channel. Okay, cool. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We out here. What'd you say, Kati? Delicious. The next day. You guys probably can't see me, but this is day two. We showed up at 5 a.m. I can't see me yet, yeah, whatever. Ya nos vamos, pero vamos a sientes? ¿Más mejor? Something I wanted to mention before I wrap things up here is, is I'm gonna start doing something in uh, my videos which goes along with this. If you guys don't know, I've been reading this book. 33 strategies of war now I have very I have been very inconsistent with this I started this back in September and I didn't even get halfway through so that's one of my goals for this year which is 
try to read one book every two weeks, and if we can do that, narrow it down to one week. But so the quote goes a little something like this: "To live in fear is to die every day." Now I have my own interpretation of the quote, and in my eyes, I see it as uh, you want to be a risk taker because if you play things safe all the time, you'll never know your full potential, or you'll ne you'll never reach your full potential, and I don't know, that's my own interpretation of it. Uh, I also have another imp interpretation of if you never start, you'll never finish. I don't know. But go ahead and interpret, interpret that uh, as you will or as you'd like. However, however you'd like, interpret that, interpret that, I can't even say that. Interpret what you can and put that into your own words. Uh, comment down below what you guys think uh, that quote means to you. To me, it means uh, both of them. You want to be like a risk taker, and uh, that way you find out your full potential. Also, you want to. If you never start, you'll never finish. That's how I see it. But again, comment your own interpret. Well, can I say it? your own interpretation of it down below? Let me know what you guys think, and I'm gonna end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you stuck around to the end, appreciate you. Drop a thumbs up down below if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm gonna do one of these quotes every video, whether mid and beginning of the video. But yeah, it's something new. I'm trying, and yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.